Uh, Morgan Young is here to put Chauvin's sentence in some context. Yeah, Chris, well, Chauvin's defense asked for probation. Prosecutors asked for that maximum sentence of 30 years. This 22 and a half year sentence is greater than the typical range for this charge in Minnesota, but this was not a typical circumstance. Experts I spoke with say the sentence itself, not surprising. They expected it to be lengthy. The big deal today is that a law enforcement officer was sentenced at all. Criminologist Phil Stinson tracks what he calls police crime. The average sentence length is 21.7 years, so just under 22 years. For non-federal on-duty officers convicted of murder. As sentence for count one, the court commits you to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 270 months. Chauvin got 22 and a half years. It's really right in line with what we would expect. His research team at Bowling Green State University found since 2005, only 11 of these cases were convicted, only nine sentenced. But I don't think this sentence is out of the ballpark one direction or the other. It's probably a little bit better than down the middle. A.L. Brown is a defense attorney in St. Paul, Minnesota. Today is a day about accountability. It'd be hard to ignore that as one of the most important days in Minnesota. But the magnitude highlights the rarity, which both say highlights the issue. When you look at the sheer numbers. The only reason that he will uh, now uh, be serving a lengthy prison sentence is because of the video evidence. It should not be the standard that we have to have video and this kind of perfect storm of evidence. To get accountability, which he says does not equal justice. To me, justice would be a system where I don't have to fear that I might be the next George Floyd. And Chris, there's still a civil rights case against Chauvin after a federal grand jury indicted him on two counts in May. Why, why do you think the court went with this longer sentence? Well, this was explained in a memo that was released today. For second degree murder in Minnesota, the typical sentence range for someone with no criminal history goes from about a little less than 11 years to 15 years. Based on that, Chauvin was looking at about 12 and a half years. Now, if you want to bump that up, a court has to be able to show and prove what's called aggravating factors. So basically things that make a crime particularly bad. In this case, they found two. One, that Chauvin was in a position of trust and authority, given that he was a police officer, and two, that he actually acted in a way that was particularly cruel. So when we talk about extra sentencing, that extra time, it hangs on those two issues. All right, thank you for putting all of that into context. This was a very lengthy and very detailed uh, decision.